Korean martial art. Uh, to give you a little bit of a, a history on Kuktu, Kuktu is a self-defense martial art. It is a Korean martial art, so we do incorporate a lot of the kicking and hand striking techniques that you would see in a, a Korean martial art, for example, like a Taekwondo or a Tang Sudo and so forth. But we also incorporate a lot of the self-defense techniques, utilizing joint locks, pressure points, grappling, throwing, and uh, a lot of different aspects. What we're going to do today is do a very quick demonstration for you. Uh, as you can see, we have a, quite a, a diverse group. Our, at our school, students start at the age of three, three and a half, around there in our preschool turtle talk program. That class is designed to introduce students to uh, just basic uh, tumbling, the basics of the martial art. Mm -hmm. More important thing is understanding the importance of etiquette, respect and manners, by far the most important thing that we uh, that, that's involved in any martial art. A lot of martial arts are getting away from that a little bit, and I think it is a shame, because first and foremost should be the respect and the etiquette involved in the martial arts, and that's, that's a big part of our program. What we're going to do now is we're going to start off by our traditional bow. The reason we bow in martial arts is just a way of saying thank you. It's a way of thanking you for coming out and watching us in the cold weather, and it's a way of thanking each other for being good uh, supportive classmates. Kiriya and Kuni. Haro. Every time you bow, they, they bow, if you notice, they say kuk -sul. Again, that's just a way of showing respect to our martial arts. Now, we're going to start off with an energy breathing exercise. This is called a kicho chagi, or energy exercise. This is designed to help wake us up. Most of us have had days where we uh, wake up in the morning and we wish we could go right back to bed. Not really because you didn't get enough sleep. Most likely it's just because you have low energy. Of course, one thing that will help you with energy is exercise. A good exercise plan, a good diet plan, that will help you with your energy. What we're going to do now is show you one exercise that we do beginning of every class to help us wake up. Kicho chagi chumbi. Feet apart. Okay. Ready, one. Ayo. See what they're doing there? They're throwing all their energy out to their hands. Number two. Feet closer together. Cross your arms. Ready. Ayo. Ayo. Good. Number three. Hands out. Ayo. Ayo. Good. Again, these are designed to help us wake up a little bit. Number four. Hands out in front of you. This is more of a striking motion. We need this kind of energy for self-defense. And number five. Bend your knees all the way down. All right, it's pretty hard to, to stay, uh, stay sleepy and tired if you're out there and going, ah, and really trying to wake yourself up. And that, again, that's how we have uh, one of the exercises that we do to kind of get ourselves going for class. Now, in our martial art, we do a lot of different kicking techniques and hand striking techniques. Uh, uh, in fact, we do probably dozens of different kicking, combination kicking, and so forth. What we're going to do now is demonstrate some of our most basic kicks. Everybody left foot in front? All right, we're going to start off with our knee kick, a basic knee kick. And again, our youngest student is three. My oldest student is 71. Everyone has a different level of... Of, uh, of fitness when they first start martial arts. As long as you're doing the very best you can, you're going to be fine. That's our standard. Do the best you can. We're going to start off with a basic knee kick. Ready? Two. Set. And switch. Two. Set. And switch. All right. Now the next one's a front kick or a front snap kick. Just bending their knee and then thrusting the foot forward. Ready? Two. Set. And switch. And switch. Good. We're going to get them warmed up for you. Oh, good. Now, crescent kick. They're going to use their hand as a target, making a big circle slap in their hand. Ready? Hunt it. Two. Set. And switch. Hunt it. Two. Set. And switch. Now, once you get used to the basic kicking, and we have what we call the basic eight, the eight basic kicks of martial arts. Once you get used to that, then we start doing what we call combination kicking. Now, we don't have a lot of room out there today to do a lot of combinations, but we're going to do a double kick. This is just a double front snap kick. One low, one high with the right foot. Ready? Hunt it. Two. Set. Set. Good job. Now, they're going to do the same thing, but with a roundhouse kick, turning their body. A roundhouse kick can be done to different levels of the body. A lot of times in martial arts, people think you have to kick high. We all know that probably one of the best way places to kick is below the waist. That's where a lot of the power is. All right? So this is a double roundhouse kick. Ready? Hunt it. Two. Set. All right. Should you have together? Now, in our martial art, we do many different ways of using our hands, not just your fist and not just your open hand strike, what people call it a chop. In, in Kuk Tzu, we, again, learn dozens of different ways to use our hands, our elbows, our shoulders for striking. We're going to start off with our most traditional basic hand striking. Everybody see my just a horse dance? And Chung Guan, right fist out. This is just a basic straight punch. Now, obviously, in self-defense, no one's going to punch like this. I always get asked that. Why do you do that? It's not, it's not practical. What we're doing here is training our body, trying to strengthen our, strengthen our ligaments and tendons, trying to get our muscles and our body prepared so when you have to use a punch in any position, you can do it. Ready? Two. Set. Set. And palm. Open your hand up wide. Two. Set. Set. Palm 
down to the fingertips. In Kung Fu, we're a, self, we're a pressure point oriented martial art. We teach to strike vital areas like the neck area, the, the, the spots on the side of the neck, the groin area, and so forth. Even the eyes. And this is something you would use with your fingertips. Ready? Hunt it. Good. Let's put front hands up. Now we're going to show you guys what we call our more practical self-defense. Our hands are up in a defensive position. We're going to show you just a straight punch with the left hand. Ready? Hunt it. Now we're going to show you a one-two, a left-right punch, a combination. Now we're going to show you a combination in front and then turn striking back. So it's going to be a left-right punch and then a turn chop with the right. All right, Kitty. Now, as you can tell, we have a diverse group. We do not have a demonstration team. Many martial arts schools, they have a team that practices every week to do demonstrations. At our place, we're very much a family-based school. All these students are volunteers. Some of them volunteer today just to come out for you. Let's give them a big hand, please. Let's give them a big hand. Let's give them a good job for you. All right. And let's move on back, please, and let's get the mats out. Move on back and get the mats out.